Sparky Zero was one of the most anticipated games of the year and with that of course we got a whole bunch of content that I couldn't even believe myself in yesterday's video. But one of the things that I couldn't wait to dive into more than the rest was the episode battles because in this game you can actually alternate the timeline by making decisions that actually didn't happen in the anime. So my goal today is to make as much bad decisions as possible along the story and maybe get Zeno-sama a little bit frustrated because we're literally shredding the whole timeline. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what Goku's life would have been like if he made certain decisions. And no, Goku Black is not the answer here. Come on, he's almost dead! Yes! It's me! It's me! We beat him! We finally did it! After like 100 times! Please tell me we got the what-if side. Please. I didn't hear Krillin freaking chatting this time. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, so Gohan pulls up. Raditz gets bombed. Please let this work! Yes, Krillin's new move. Let's see it. He dodges it. Master Roshi's coming through! What? <laughs> Master Roshi! Now Piccolo! End it! I'll make sure I'm recording because there ain't no way I'm doing this again. Yo, this man's getting hit with everybody's attack. How could I have been beaten by such a small fry? What about uh Goku? Is he gonna hit him with a Kamehameha? Nah? Okay, that was lit though. It was just everybody, it was like the dialogue everyone was saying, you know, I got a special move. And they were just showing it off right there. Goku and his friends work together to beat Raditz. However, he warns them in one year's time, two even stronger Saiyans will visit Earth. Goku contacts his friends and they start a strict training regime, regime under the watchful eyes of Kami. However, having not been trained in martial arts before, Gohan cannot keep up with them. Interesting. He tries his best to follow their lead and train, but he knows that he will only hold them back. Then Piccolo arrives. Piccolo points out that they have been too kind to Gohan in their training. He informs him that he will take over Gohan's training. So it's like everything is still the same kind of okay. in a sense like I'll Gohan's still going to get his training. You. Everyone's still getting stronger. Goku? Are you the only thing that didn't happen is Goku didn't die, which is good, I guess. I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust it. Know what I mean? Facts. He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we could get. And just think about it. Let's just say, you know, Gohan, we did it like how do? we did in yesterday's video, where Piccolo's an amazing fighter. we went the he first round and alone. Piccolo still shows up and helps everybody out. Well, I, I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, okay, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. So that was nice to see. Everybody's happy. Seems like they're all ready now. Goku and the others complete their training with Kami, and each of them then continue to work on their individual skills. They then gather the test to. Oh, they then gather to test the fruits of their labor. You guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. Oh yeah, I forgot about this P POV to sell. Finally stuff. finished developing that technique. I like I, I like this before. style better Can't though. Wait to show you. It's only like Your when there's special moves happening that I like to switch to POV. To we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Well, it's time to fuck up some sayings. That's all I gotta say. Oh, what is this? What the hell? So I pick who I want to train with. Yo, Yamcha, bro. Do it for the one time. Do it for the video. <laughs> Let's train with Yamcha real quick. Yamcha, you game to train with me? Totally. Better give me all you got, Goku, because I can tell if you're holding back. So I yep, wonder. That's the plan. What happens if I had picked anybody else? I just picked Yamcha just cause, but. Does it like affect the story in any way is what I want to know. Uh -huh. 
Bro, are you even trying, Yamcha? Nope. Messed up my combo there. Oh. And then we'll go ahead again. Guys, it literally took me like over an hour just to get that damn Raditz freaking ending, bro. Uh, the only thing I could suggest to you guys for you to do is just go into sparking mode. Keep doing endless combos. Okay, what the hell? All right, what is happening? And then once you finish those endless combos, do this ultimate move. That was how I was able to be in because... You, like I said, you have to do it in normal mode. You cannot go ahead and lower the difficulty or else it will not trigger. And that's for the whole uh, story mode in general, guys. Once you change that difficulty, it affects every single other uh, storyline that there is. So, yeah. I just want to let you guys know that. But Okay. Oh. Oh man, didn't get to recover. All right, Yamcha, you put in a lot of work. Let's just go sparking mode. Screw it. So you guys, this is exactly why I'm not ready for online. Oh my gosh, Yamcha is really giving me the works, man. You rushed right into this. Okay. Where is bro running? I mean, this does feel like training. It's just, I suck, guys. I literally suck. Oh my gosh. Wait. I was gonna say, right back at you. And then eat these key blasts. Oh, and he had one. No. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, it took me a little bit longer than uh, expected, but uh, thought I might actually have a shot at beating you, but you're stronger than ever. Should have figured. I still can't believe that Raditz was that hard. I mean, I don't even know which one's harder, Raditz or a freaking Great Eight Vegeta. I mean, Raditz is not that hard to beat. It's just to beat him for that specific challenge is hard. But we got it done. Doesn't matter. So, everybody here is happy. Goku and others have tested their power. They return to their training in preparation for the Saiyans attack. However, they do not have enough time before the Saiyans appear on Earth. The Saiyans send multiple Cybermen to test Goku and his friends. With the benefit of their strict training, they easily see off the threat. Why do I feel like I remember this story somehow? I I don't even remember. Was this happened like in Z Kai? Finally, a Saiyan called Nappa decided to confront them all. Yeah, I don't know why I feel like uh, Guess I'll be killing Cat I remember first. this for whatever reason. Oh yeah, you sure about that? Cause it doesn't look like it. Oh okay. Made me eat my words there. Okay, I have recovery assist on. I don't know why it took me so long to recover there. That's the only type of assist that I have on this right now. Um, you know, everything else interferes with like the combat and stuff. Oh! Oh! Nah, I'm winning this! I'm winning this! Get out of here! And then the Kamehameha! Oh, I thought you were gonna get sent flying a little bit more than that. Oh! There you go! That's the type of combos I was trying to do. Okay. But that rock kind of ruined it. Eat that. Hey! Can we get a solar flare? I was trying to get a slower solar flare there, man. Go sparking mode real quick. Oh god. Now nah, I'm doing my oh. We're clashing. We're doing it. Let's do it, Nappa. Oh. Mine overpowered his. Okay. Oh, he's he's weak. Wait, no. Bro, he, what happened? Bro's trying to play dead? Nah, I seen those memes, yo. I seen those videos. You're not gonna play dead with me. <laughs> and, oh, wait. 
There you go. See ya, Nappa. And your tidy whities too. You know, it's funny because in the uh, last Help one, me. he showed up in his uh, tidy whities, if I'm not mistaken. Saiyan. If you think I'm gonna fight Grade 8 Vegeta again, you're bugging. That, that's not happening right now, right? Vegeta kills Nappa without battling an eye as the latter has lost to Goku. Goku and the others seems... Goku and others can sense Vegeta's overwhelming power. They divide into two groups. Along with Goku, Tien, and Piccolo, who both have strength left to spare, engage in combat with uh, Vegeta. Goku, Krillin, Yamcha, and Chiatsudo leave the battlefield. Once Gohan and the others have left, the remaining three begin their battle with Vegeta. Oh, so it's a 3v1 now against... Uh, Vegeta Why here. would you kill your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. Interesting. Sounds just like Vegeta. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. All right, Vegeta. Let's see what you got this time. Are we strong enough this time to keep up? Uh -huh. I wonder if I could switch to the others. Like, it would be cool if I can, given that they're part of the party. Let me see. Yeah, no. Nah, I can. Wouldn't you like to know? The number one question. Oh. All right. We'll just do a super Kamehameha right off the bat because he's flying away. Yep. Charge up again, our key. Where are you looking for me, Vegeta? I'm right here. Oh, damn, okay. Oh. Oh, come on. Can we get a solar flare? Solar flare? Oh my god. All right, he got me, he got me, he got me. He deflected it. Oh. Oh. You gotta be quick, Vegeta. You don't see these Kamehameha's coming? Okay. Damn! Solar Flare. There you go. Wait. I thought he... Damn, okay. The time window for that was either really small or Vegeta's just really nice with it. Can you let me go Sparky Mode too? Like, damn, bro. Oh, God. Oh. Beam Clash, I'll take it. Ooh, is that how we defeated him? Nice. I'll take that. Okay. GG's, Vegeta. I'm the Prince of Saiyans. How can he hurt me? Just too strong for you, buddy. Alright, so... Vegeta has been injured by Goku. In rage, he transformed into a great ape in an attempt to defeat Goku. Please... Don't make me do this. However, Piccolo had destroyed the moon during his training with Gohan to combat Gohan's great ape transformation. Vegeta realizes the moon isn't there. Instead, he creates a power ball to transform into a great ape. Oh my gosh. The three of them shared their remaining sensu beans between them to face Vegeta's great ape form. And do I have to suffer again? No! Oh my, dude, we just got in. We just got in, bro. Go away, go away. I'm just gonna keep spamming this. It was bad enough when Gohan turned into one of these hulking things, but this is a hundred times worse. I finally figured it out. Come on. Yeah, from behind. There you go. Come on, can we go sparking? Oh, God. I might as well let you know. 
The power level of a Saiyan when they transformed into a grade eight is ten times. We still hit him. Strength. Wait, I did not mean to do that. Just when I thought you couldn't get any more powerful. Don't give up, Goku. It might look hopeless, but we survived this far. Krillin? Uh oh. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh yes! We dodged it right on time! Stay down! Please! Vegeta ape! And I still got caught in that. Oh. Not just me, bud. Yep. I'm Chen Chaozu and Gohan. We're all with you. Krillin, what are you thinking? Why would you bring them all here now? Because it's all or nothing at this point. Plus, I've got a plan, and I need everyone to pull it off. Yo, please go away. Send this man flying. There you go. He won't even let me go into sparky mode, man. Can we finally hit sparky mode? Yes. Okay, now we just do ultimate combos. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Just like that, just like that. This is what I was doing to Raditz. Yes, get stuck in there. It's over for you. And then Super Kamehameha. Great Ape Vegeta. See you later. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, man. Wasn't as bad as the first time. Oh, solar flare? Okay. Yeah, how, how does that feel to be on the other side now, Great Ape Vegeta? Solar flare! Nice. My eyes. Who's gonna deal the final blow? Destructo Disc? Destructo Disc! Oh, damn! Gohan with the Masenko? Damn you! Whoa! Wait, Vegeta's actually gonna die? He's been weakened enough that Chouch's paralysis is working. Okay, this is our chance, guys. No way. Does he survive that? So you're telling me Goku died so Vegeta could live guys, in the normal arc? We really did it! <laughs> actually managed to beat that guy and we did it together <laughs> yeah we did but I don't have much left in me after all that <laughs> he put up a good fight but we were more than prepared for him <gasps> the, the Saiyan! oh he's alive don't worry Gohan can't hurt you now you were the worst enemy we ever faced but I guess the least we can do is give you a burial he's dead who's burying oh who? <laughs> Caught me by surprise there, Vegeta. <laughs> Damn, not even that was enough to get this man. Goku and his friends are certain of their victory. However, Vegeta survives their attack with the sheer immensity of his life force. I mean, what to expect, right? A guy with that much pride and ego. Goku and the others have used up all of their energy in this life or death struggle. However little it may be, it is only Piccolo and Goku who have remaining key. Drawing on that meager amount, they challenge Vito, they challenge Vegeta once again. Despite Vegeta's counterattacks, Goku manages to withstand them. Goku buys time while Piccolo chooses the right moment to channel the remaining key into his fingertips. Oh, let me see the POV of this. What do you hope to do with such little mm -hmm. Now, oh, so in this how Is Goku still ends up dying? Whoa! Yo, Vegeta narrowly dodges Piccolo's attack and frees himself from Goku's hold. Ve Vegeta said, "Nah, that's not working on me. That can work on low-level Raditz, but I'm smarter than that." As a result, Goku takes the full brunt of Piccolo's special beam cannon and loses consciousness. 
And now Gohan's getting stomped on. When Goku comes to, he sees Gohan cornered by Vegito. Daddy! No! Uh-oh. Everybody's down. They're my friends! Okay, Goku's not dead. He was just unconscious for a little bit. What is happening right no. now? Get away! One-handed Kamehameha? Or is that a spirit bomb? That's a spirit bomb. With his life on the line, Goku's final punch collides with Vegeta. I see. I said collides. Collides. Vegeta takes the full force of the punch and summons his spaceship in an attempt to return home. We've seen this on Planet Namek, yo. <laughs> Krillin, determined to deter Vegeta from escaping, moves in for the finishing blow. But with his final breath, Goku stops him. Krillin, I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it. It's selfish, but I don't, I don't want him to die. Well, did I say Planet Namek before? I meant in the other arc. Am I? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> With these final words, Goku takes his last breath, choosing to honor Goku's final wish. G Krillin listens, allowing Vegeta to escape. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls, and the next time we meet, you're going down for good. This man still dies. Krillin's final words will soon invite not only Vegeta, but even more terrifying enemies to attack Earth. However, no one can foresee that yet. What is happening right now? As for Goku, after his death in the battle with Vegeta, Kami arranges for him to train under the watchful gaze of King Kai. Goku has grown stronger by training with his companions and battling all over Battling other Saiyans, he arrives before King Kai within mere days. Meanwhile, back on Earth, cornered by Vegeta's use of the word Namekian, Piccolo decides to travel planet Namek on a spaceship that was once used by Kami. Gohan wishes to become as strong as possible before Saiyan attacks Earth again, ignores Chi Chi, and decides to travel with Piccolo to train under him. Nearly one month later, Goku surprises King Kai by quickly mastering the Kaioken and the Spirit Bomb. However, King Kai soon notices that Vegeta is once again on a course for Earth. Goku rushes to notify his friends that they need to revive him with the Dragon Ball. He is then back on Earth within a few hours. Goku and his companions then travel to the site where Vegeta's key is where Vegeta's key is and they prepare for battle. Again, Vegeta just won't get enough, bro. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon. Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good. Listen up, all of you. If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal. <laughs> what a wish. <clears throat> if you don't believe me, believe this. The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe. Okay. Frieza? So he came to tell sure them about Frieza. Earthling could ever match his power. Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls. You, you gotta be kidding me. After what you did to Goku, why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. <laughs> Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. He's gonna be like, all right, come with me Earth to Planet Namek. Oh, wait. <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by Oh, we force. fighting. We fighting. All right, Vegeta. Guys, gotta beat you once okay. and for all. You leave this one to me, you got it. We're counting on you, Goku. So we still get the iconic fight between them two here in the Desert Valley. And... Kyle can rush. Vegeta, I can tell you've gotten even stronger than last time. 
Am I right? Yeah, he's That's been training. You see, every time Saiyans recover from the brink of death, they grow more and more powerful. So don't even think this is going to go the same way as last time. <laughs> I'm not dumb enough to underestimate you like that. If anything, I was gonna say the exact same thing to you. Silence! I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince of all Saiyans! Leagues upon leagues ahead of you! Okay. Oh, how did you dodge that? How can Kakarot outclass me? It's infuriating, but could be to my advantage. Wait, did he just kill me? No, I killed him. Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? Oh, okay, so they're like, alright, we're even. An alliance? I like where we'll this is going. Take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allowed me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. That's facts. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's not Vegeta's way, man. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you. And I think we yeah, have no other Yeah, it's a white dude with uh, lipstick forces. on and a nice tail. Krillin, you'll know all about it soon. <laughs> with that, Goku and his companions begin cooperating with Vegeta to confront Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, who is on his way to attack Earth. What? While Goku and Vegeta begin training, Bulma and the others are tasked with keeping in contact with Piccolo and Gohan as they travel to planet Namek. Frieza's coming to Earth? What? Vegeta and Goku train together, refining their combat skills using the gravity chamber developed by Bulma's father. One day, the team detects Frieza's key approaching Earth and realizes that the moment has finally come. Due to the massive size of that key, Tian decides to leave Chiyasu behind while Goku and his friends travel to Frieza's expected landing point. They are attacked during their travels by Vegeta's former rival, Kui, but Vegeta has grown stronger from training and defeats him easily. So, which one of you wants to die And next? the whole Ginyu force is here now. Don't start getting a swollen head what? just because you beat Kui, Vegeta. Kui, Kui, that's the his name. Glory and Zarbon. I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> and you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait, so Planet Namek's happening on Earth right now? Is saying something about a Is Saiyan that what we're saying? That had been sent to the distant blue planet Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me. <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? Okay. So Let this is where the rest of the Ginyu Force was. Alright, come here, fatty. The only pink fatty that I'll accept is Majin Buu. Alright, where'd you disappear to? Let me see. Send you flying. I'm gonna charge up real quick. Nah, nah, fatty. Everything's gonna work on you. You're literally a big target. It's hard to miss you, man. Ooh. Boost that, because it's hidden. Oh, he blocked it. Alright. Yo, stop blocking. I don't know what you thought you was doing. Everybody, give me your energy. I gotta finish this man off already. I'll go spark. Oh, wait. He went sparking. This is not good. Ah. Do another Kamehameha blast. See if we can slow him down. Beautiful! 
I forgot who he was with. Uh... So we'll charge it up again. Can we go sparking this time? No, he's gonna interrupt. Oh my gosh, I keep accidentally spamming that now. <laughs> It's because I keep pressing R2 accidentally, but I'm gonna go into sparky mode. Yo, let me go into sparky mode, damn it. This guy will not let me go into sparky mode for whatever reason. And now I don't have enough. Alright. You wanna just get the hands? I'll give you your wish, man. Oh. Taking it a little bit longer than we wanted to. Oh, damn it. I thought I said I'm flying. I hope this one hits. I wanted it to be a flashy ending. See ya, fatty. <laughs> Evaporate. Hey, bro, where, where's the, where's your pal at? Yeah, there he is, Zarbon. I was wondering if he was gonna show up. Are you gonna go into your jumble form? Hey, does my health not restore? Oh God. See, I shouldn't have messed around. Go ahead and go sparky mode real quick. And then... Go. Oh. No. There you go. Oh. Okay. I keep dropping these combos, man. Damn. He got me with that. Useless. Oh my gosh! Go sparking mode, no problem. What? Spirit bomb? And we got him with the spirit bomb as well. Oh my gosh! We got both of them with the spirit bomb? Oh, okay, okay. I I'm messing up. I'm messing up. <laughs> I don't even know how that went through, but whatever. We'll, we'll take it. We got a little too comfortable there, you know? I was just getting used to the controls. I thought I could do more, but obviously it wasn't enough. So. Here they are, both of them laid out. Goku and Vegeta have defeated Dordira and Zarbon as Dordira. Oh my gosh, that's a hard name. Attempts to flee, Vegeta deals the finishing blow. Goku's about to be reprimanded. Wait. Goku is about to reprimand Vegeta for taking the life of an enemy who had given up. All of a sudden, a new enemy arrives. So here's the real Ginyu Force. The Frieza Force Elite Squadron. The Ginyu Force appear in front of them. <laughs> the first blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. I think we're really about to fight the whole yeah, game force right now. Hi. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. Goku what not playing, man. <laughs> Dude, this guy literally this looks like a booger. Gudo, what are you doing? Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans for getting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Let's see about that. Here, here we go for the fifth time. I don't know why I can't beat this. Got him out. Let's charge up. So the key here is you want to preserve as much of your life as you can. 
because once it gets to the later opponents, they really start throwing hands and they're gonna make you regret losing all that health in the beginning. So I found a little bit of a cheese. You just throw spirit bombs at them. I usually try to do some combos, but because he's in range, you know, it most likely will hit just because it's a very big thing to dodge. I mean, look at that, yo. Every single time, most of the time, it should be hitting. But, you know, you gotta take advantage and try to get into sparking mode as much as you can. So, where's he at? Go over there. Oh, I thought the game glitched. Let me send him away. Oh, he blocked me. Oh, spirit bomb. He's flying. Hopefully this hits. And gets rid of him. Yep, bye-bye, booger. Get out of here. Who's next? Recoom Bomber! Let's see if you can catch these bombs. Alright, so we'll go to sparking mode. See if we could do a little combo on him, send him flying. Yeah, just like that. A spirit bomb. Every single time, we gotta try to do that as much as we can. So let's charge up. He's just standing still. Okay, do it again. He blocked me this time. And... And spirit bomb. Oh, he's standing right in front of me. It should hit. It should definitely hit. Yep. And then we'll charge. I could shoot Key Blast, but that's a very big risk. I'll shoot a Kamehameha. I think the game's glitched. And he's still somehow alive. We just need one hit on him. One hit. This is unnecessary freaking life being lost. And we're clashing unnecessarily. What the hell? No. Okay. Bro, you're like surviving for way too long. Whatever. We're gonna try to make it come back with Birda here. You're not taking another step. This one will be my opponent. Okay. You got nothing to guard. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, keep it going. A spirit bomb. So yeah, it's a little bit cheesy, I'm not gonna lie y'all, but honestly, this is the best way to survive this. You could try and go ahead and do the hard route, but I don't know why you would want to do that to yourself. So, yeah, let's just shoot a Kamehameha since we're close. And there you go, he's gone. So now it's Jace. This is where he really starts to throw hands because... I just tried throwing hands with him fair and square in the beginning, and it just wasn't enough, so... Alright, can you relax? You see you see what I mean, yo? Like, he came in to throw hands fairly. Alright, spirit bomb, just spirit bomb, man. I haven't even seen Ginyu this whole time yet. I still have yet to see him, so I'm hoping I could get him this time. Okay. Let's see. Charge up, charge up, charge up. Oh, see, he won't let me charge up. He won't let me charge up, man. Spare bomb again. <laughs> I'm about to title this video How to Play Good as a New Player in Sparking Zero because. Honestly, this is just the cheesiest thing you could do to survive these boss battles, man. It's not about being fancy, it's about being smart. Oh god, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Oh, what the hell? Yo, relax, relax. Shoulda Kamehameha just to secure that. Now we got Kinyu. First time I'm seeing him. Get out of here, please. 
Please, let me go to smirky mode. Join the party. Be the easiest one. I know you're not gonna be because you're the freaking leader of this. Oh god. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Look at my health, yo! I can't even go into sparky mode with this guy. Screw it. Spare bomb right away. I'm literally in danger, dude. Come on, spare bomb. <laughs> I need your help. Spare bomb, please. Give me the spare bomb before he comes back. What is he doing down there? Look at him. One more, one more, one more. A spirit bomb should hit. He's coming towards me. Spirit bomb, please. Don't miss this time. Please don't miss. I swear if you miss out of this point, the most critical point. It missed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what to do, y'all. I'm really scared. He's coming towards me. Coming on me, huh? Just spam specials, y'all. That's the way to beat these guys. Forget about the fancy combo and tech. Just spam specials. Keep your distance and just do that. Because honestly, if you go the other route, it's just very, very hard. Unless you know what you're doing, of course. So Goku easily handled everybody. Combining their powers, Goku and Vegeta force the Ginyu Force into retreat. Seeing that their will is broken, Goku orders them to return to their planet. Okay. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots on an oh. Instead, the Ginyu Force spots an opening and tries to kill Goku while his guard is down, only to be cut down by the Vegeta themselves. Okay, wow, I suck at reading. After Vegeta's devastating attack, it is only Ginyu who remains when the enemy's leader Frieza emerges. Frieza orders Ginyu to search for the Dragon Balls. As Ginyu leaves, Vegeta follows in pursuit. So we already got a Goku and Frieza interaction. Next, Frieza offers Goku and his friends a chance to join the Frieza force. Goku, of course, turns his offer down, but he can sense that Frieza is far stronger than any enemy they faced before. It is then that Vegeta, who is supposed, who is supposed to be pursuing Captain Ginyu, returns to Goku and the others. Before they knew what is happening, Vegeta begins attacking Goku and friends. So, Ginyu took over Vegeta's body, it seems, now this time. Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience. <laughs> Look at how short Frieza is. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? And we actually get to see oh, him Ginyu. in his first form Before in this uh, storyline. the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? Nah, bro. I'm not sure. But we have it's, to keep on fighting. This, toast. this is very hard to predict in this case because you see with Goku when they took over when Ginyu took over his body, like it was easy to tell because Goku's a good guy, but Vegeta came onto this planet being a very bad guy, obviously. He was their enemy, so it's like, alright, how do we believe that you're not that bad guy again or you're just Ginyu taking over Vegeta's body? Because he's not necessarily good right now, I want to say, at this point of the story. Okay, spirit bomb. That's what I learned this whole time. Throw spare bombs when you can, because they can't dodge it. It's too big. That's what she said. We'll charge up again. See if we can get some sparky mode in. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't know why these CPU like to play dead or something. Like, they just be... AFK and they want you to like go pursue them so that they can just hit you with an attack out of nowhere But I'm not I'm not gonna take it I'm not getting fooled today I can't even see where I'm throwing a spare bomb <laughs> We're stuck in these rocks 
Hopefully the spirit bomb breaks these rocks here. Okay, broke the rocks, but it didn't hit him. But I haven't yet located anyone with a power level high enough to match your description. Naturally, because these vermin have the ability to control their power levels. Thus, the Namekian who created the Dragon Balls is probably suppressing his power level and hiding somewhere as we speak. Yes. I just realized that Piccolo is not here at all. Where is Piccolo hiding at? What was he doing this whole time? Oh, he was with Gohan. They were at Planet Namek. I forgot. They're supposed Even to be coming back. Vegeta's body. Why can't I kill you? Sorry, Ginyu. You know, it's just not a true Saiyan, so you don't know what's good with our Saiyan bodies. There's no other choice then. I'll just take your body instead. All right, what is it going to be this time? Is it going to be another frog? Now! How are we going to intercept this one? Kakarot, get out of the way! Uh! Vegeta blocks Ginyu's attempt, forcing him back into his own body. Okay, so he was smart. He did the same thing. I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. Yo, these Saiyans just have that, like, you instinct, man. Your usefulness, Vegeta. I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, damn. Change now! He tried to get Tien. With Ginyu temporarily stunned, Tien narrowly avoids having his body stolen. You froze for a second. What happened? Oh, um, what's his that name? Technique. It must be. Yeah, he stopped him. Chatsu. Yeah, Chatsu. Because he was weakened enough. That makes sense. He was weakened enough so that he could use his power against him. Why is he a frog? <laughs> Why is he still a frog? Worried about his friends, Chiatsu falls behind, being careful not to be noticed. Chiatsu uses his telekinesis to change Ginyu's body with a frog, and the battle is won. Okay, so he still ends up being a frog. That was just his fate. Concerned for the wounded Goku and Vegeta, Krillin and the others hand them sensu beans to heal. Even to them, it's painfully clear that Goku cannot defeat Frieza alone, and that Vegeta's help will be required. However, Frieza is enraged at seeing his underlings beaten, and he goes after Goku and the others. Unable to bear seeing his friends hurt anymore, Goku challenges Frieza to a one-on-one -on -one fight. You wish to do battle with me one-on-one? -on -one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> the fact that Goku just said screw uh, this, we're still going to do all one on one is Freeze crazy. Race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret. Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. <laughs> he can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. This oh, guy Goku going to sure knows how to get under people's insult. skins. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Now he's gonna turn into a dinosaur and we'll be able to fight it. Now, yep. First we go into his what brolic form. Power is practically doubled. Oh god. In for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitten. Uh. Already sensed that Frieza is actually gonna be difficult this time. I'm pretty sure we're gonna fight all his forms here. Let me see. Ah, oh, I took too long with that. Spirit bomb! He's moving. I might miss. Let's see. Nope. It's magnetic, yo. Charge up again. All right, let's go. Yeah. Oh, wait. Do a Kamehameha. <laughs> All right. 
This is taking longer than I wanted. So we beat him. Kind of. I, I hope there's not alternate decisions. I haven't been looking at the battle details, but I hope there's not even more alternate decisions in the story because we got a lot to go through then. So there's this dinosaur form that I was talking about. Frieza in the midst of the next step of his transformation and intends to show Goku and his friends just how much more powerful than them he really is. And to further plunge Goku into the depths of despair, Frieza orders his soldiers to eliminate Goku's wounded, wounded allies. Just as a legion of troops appear from Frieza's spaceship, Master Roshi arrives to bring Chiatsu back home. Our heroes given the last of their sensu beans to Goku and entrust him to defeat Frieza while fighting Frieza's soldiers despite their own wounds. Armed with the sensu beans and the hopes of his companions, Goku takes the battle to Frieza one last time. Yo, is Earth gonna be destroyed? Because, you know, Check when they off. was doing this on Planet Namek, it ended up getting destroyed. Vegeta. <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakabot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I can beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have. What the, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle. So if we don't have an opening, I'm just going to have to make one. Oh, shit. I want to see how this plays out. Idiot. Oh, damn. It's a futile effort. Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him. How can a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? Vegeta still thinks he's at the top, man. <laughs> Nah, 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 bro. The fact that I have to do this again because there was just an unblockable cutscene. Like, dude is talking about transforming while he's beating my ass. That's crazy. That's crazy multitasking there. How you do that, Frieza? You really are the superior race of this universe. All right, no more Kamehameha's. All right, let's go. Let's go to Sparky mode. Bro just ended up behind me. Oh my god. It's been amusing. All right, now he's about to go all out. He's about to go all out right now. So I believe it's time to end this poor excuse for a battle. Okay, maybe not. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. Look, 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 look. I can't even block. See my final transformation. My true Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Now get ready. Does Bro have full life again? The wait is over. Now okay. I will show you a terror far greater than hell itself. This does feel like hell already. I'm not what even gonna cap, yo. Eat that last sense of being and be quick about it. Oh, bro, where is it? I need it right now. Why don't we finish with the rehearsal and commence with those? Oh, it's Vegeta. What the hell? Just eat the damn thing before I burn it to ashes with the last of my strength. Forgive me, Vegeta. Uh, we actually get to fight as Vegeta. This is crazy. Don't start giving me your worthless sympathy. You're nothing like any Saiyan I've ever met in my entire life. Warrior, he fights to protect people they care about. Such a nature was frowned upon in our culture. Vegeta? You still don't understand what it means to be a Saiyan. So now I'll set the example. 
You'll never learn when it's time to lay down and die, will you? Vegeta! It sucks that the biggest drawback to making a strong enough spirit bomb is how long it takes to gather the energy for it. Vegeta may not last long against Frieza. We're doing fine over here, Goku. Don't worry about it. Take my energy as well. I'm afraid you're fine. Did I beat that battle quick enough that I didn't even get to hear the rest of that dialogue? I hope that was the last line there. <laughs> You're fired. Sparking episode. What's this? The spirit is that bomb. What I think it is? You're on Earth, boy. I got energy size. everywhere. <laughs> How unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I said. Oh no. Do, but nice try. Don't do it. Keep it no. over there. No, damn it. Special beam. There they are. Go on. What an entrance. Go. What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath. I thought they'd been taken care of. I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies. You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience. You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! Freezer's pretty angry, yo. Okay, it's finally ready! <laughs> oh, look at the size comparison! Go, go! What have you done? See ya, Freezer! You're not looking too good there, Frieza. What's happening? Yo, whoever is voice acting that scream is doing such a phenomenal job, man. Every single time I hear that, I feel Frieza's frustration. And just like that, friends, Earth was saved, Frieza was defeated. Okay, let me stop. With the help of his friends, Goku successfully defeats Frieza with the spirit bomb. Goku asks why Piccolo and the other Namekians are on Earth as they should be on planet Namek. It seems as if it seems as if Piccolo and the others have been able to immediately teleport to Earth by using the Dragon Balls on planet Namek. What a way to use the Dragon Balls. Typically, true heroes are the only ones worthy of obtaining the Dragon Balls. However, once it is discovered that the god of the Earth is a Namekian, permission to use the Dragon Balls was granted. Afterward, a Namekian boy called Dende uses mysterious powers to heal the wounded. Just as Goku and his friends are expressing their gratitude, a fully recovered Vegeta appears. So Planet Namek is still saved in this story, which is pretty cool to see. This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. Uh oh. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party, too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least... Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. That's true. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving. Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. So, what the happens war to. The has won, but the battles are far from over. For there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues.
All right, so that was a very interesting what if, but the main question I have here is what happens to Goku's Super Saiyan? Like, did I miss something? Are, is there another timeline here that we did not do? So we got a whole nother roadmap, as you guys can see. Everything here is on Earth. The capsules where they landed. Yeah, everything here is just straight up its own timeline. If we just keep going back, it's going to take me all the way to this right here from the beginning. So when does Goku go Super Saiyan? or maybe he doesn't go super saiyan at all because that's it for this timeline like i said you know there's nothing else that continues here pretty much vegeta goes off on his own we don't know where he goes to exactly but um he intends to come back and fight goku and the rest to defeat him once and for all freeze is defeated planet namek is saved earth is still you know saved so let me know what you guys think about that are there any loose end questions that you guys want answered but the next arc that we do have here is the android and cell arc so if you guys don't want to miss that and want to watch it on this channel make sure you smash that subscribe button also let me know down in the comments are you guys enjoying this like raw style kind of videos you know I think it's just the best way to experience the story without cutting out too much things, you know, just keep it playing. And I try to keep the commentary a little bit less when that's going on so that you guys can actually watch the story and not have me overbearing the narration and stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. Take it easy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.